goes. Up for a throw. It's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Gets it back. is pivotal. I would have to say Victor Osserman, Peter. Africa has always produced some outstanding striking talents and this is the man I see as the latest in that line. He's fast, he's powerful, he's very athletic and he looks the perfect man if you want to hit on the counter-attack. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. He's made sure that that won't get through. Straight forward. Better options before the ball was lost. Should we save him up here? I know. Vidal. Forward it goes.
provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. Gets things running. Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd though are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And here is the national anthem of Iraq. That was impressive. Match that. And it does appear that they are lining up, Jim, in a 5-4-1 formation. Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape and training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. And we're underway. Up towards the front line. He's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Justin Meram tries to get it forward quickly. Vida does well to read it and intercepts. much in that far away from being a telling final ball and that was just poor decision making and a weak execution goes long well, they can break here hoists it forward has he found his man it's been taken straight back. Justin Meram finds himself eased off the ball. That's clear cut. It's a free kick.
Justin Meram. And it's played forward. A long ball, but not especially accurate. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Locate someone up front. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Dashing forward at pace. He's got the ball. He's got the space. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Intercepted, really alert to the danger. Hoists it forward. Gets it back. Nothing. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though. And now they can launch a counter. Very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Gets wrestled off the ball. for his opponent and the weighted pass that's just an example of over committing and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention it was vital drives it towards the front Heading towards half time and it is still scoreless Gets a ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Had a shot! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in a 